Welcome once again and welcome back and thank you for stopping by fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is the summer of Clash or in the case of this account, the summer of No Clash. That's right. Welcome to episode seven of No Clash Clash, the account that never attacks but has miraculously, thanks to your help, arrived at Town Hall 7. That is right. Remember, you guys, this account may have no purpose, but if you leave a like on the video, it is means a donation to charity and it means i can spend a little bit more one penny to charity one penny to the accounts maximum to the account we might spend a little bit less for every like you guys leave on this video and we're also tallying the likes from no clash clash that is hard to say no clash clash episode six which i will link right here if you go back and leave a like if you forgot to then you could maybe actually help out even more. Also, speaking of helping out, please be sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications if you haven't already, and that's a weird double villager on the screen, and leave a like and a comment if you so desire to help out the YouTube algorithm. Okay, so the gold pass, um, okay, I was really torn on whether or not I wanted to pick up the gold pass now that we've made it to Town Hall 7. I'll admit, a big part of the reason we rushed ourselves to Town Hall 7 was to unlock the gold pass. But now that I'm here, it feels like a, like even more of a waste than anything else I've ever done in Clash. So I'm just, I'm torn. And uh, actually, let's go ahead and waste some of the like money elsewhere, making sure we have code Galadon entered under the creator code. We are going to make this base a little bit unique. We're going to pick up the summer scenery just so that it stands out i thought maybe it would be cool with all of the sand because there's so much open area and yeah, what the heck so there you go we've got the summer scenery and we will rock it year round unless we decide on some other scenery for the no clash clash accounts also since you guys like the videos we can pick up the town hall 7 pack barbarian king instant barb king that is kind of nice gonna plop him down here and we'll be able to put on his summer skin as well also got him all the way to level five which would have otherwise been pretty difficult when you're not attacking and you only have one dark elixir drill and of course then we think wait why is it important to have a level five king when you don't attack and then we start to question reality and this entire account and yeah it's just yeah well hey but you guys seem to like it the likes keep rolling in so we are here we're picking up things like the Barbarian King's summer outfit. And now I was torn on this one, the summer champion. Do we pick it up? Do we not? Remember, of course, if you pick up any skins to heroes that you have not yet unlocked, you will save them until you unlock said hero. And then you will indeed be able to use that skin. So that being said, we decided to pick up the summer champion, even though I decided to pass on the summer warden. I'll uh, admit I just, I couldn't pull the trigger on the gold pass and all of the gems that would be required, which was like, what, 3,500 gems or so to get us to the skin unlock. And that's really the only reason we need that season pass. There's some loot in there, but so far we have not been hurting for loot. As you can see, we are still overflowing and no, we're not going to buy any of those packages either. Initially, my plan was to let you guys decide on whether or not I get the gold pass, but I have vetoed it and decided no, no gold pass, no summer warden. Let's just move on. It is July already, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, more upgrades, more builders coming free. We have not yet put down all of the buildings for Town Hall 7. So in fast forward style, we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Get all of the Town Hall 7 buildings down so that we can go to Town Hall 8, right? Because that's what you do. What is the first thing you do when you go to Town Hall 7? You go to Town Hall 8. I'm kidding, of course, but there is my favorite thing to do. I love putting down the walls really quickly like that. A few more defenses, a few more buildings, going to have them all down. And then once we've got everything set, we can go ahead and fast forward because I didn't want to go ahead and make a base for Town Hall 7 while everything was under construction. I wanted to wait until the buildings were actually recognizable as buildings. We'll come back and we'll build a Town Hall 7 base and that's gonna happen in just a couple of seconds. No, just messing with you guys. Again, not going to Town Hall 8. There's really no need to rush, I guess, right? No, I don't think so. Is there? I don't know. Tell me down in the comments. You think I should rush just to increase the size of the pumps, mines, and drills? Uh, maybe. Maybe not. Okay, so we came back. We've got all five builders free. We're going to build that Town Hall 7 base now. And again, this is neither the best or the 
most cool or original. Okay, actually, it is the most original Town Hall 7 base ever because I can guarantee you right now, nobody in the history of Clash of Clans has ever built this exact base. This is a completely original Town Hall 7 base. And if you need this base, if you need this Town Hall 7 base for your account, um, then seek professional help. No, I'm just kidding. I could, I could link it somewhere in my Discord, maybe in the description if I remember. I will try to get it down so that you could use it. But again, I don't know why anybody would. There it is. The finished product doesn't look that bad, except for the level 1 walls. Uh, let's go ahead and fix that. We'll upgrade some walls today. As you can see, we've got all five builders free, so we got to put them to work as well. We get, wait, okay, that, and then we can go a couple more things here. It, again, doesn't really matter that much what gets upgraded right now. Just kind of haphazardly throwing around the builders, and this time we went to the CC and a few defenses. Back in a couple of days, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, clan games have begun and it is time to pop out of the clan just Galadon, pop over to the clan, use code Galadon that always maxes the clan games, right? Yes. In just a moment, we will find ourselves a challenge that we can actually complete, but like I promised, we are going to upgrade some of these walls. And again, not really a science to what we're doing here. I'm just grabbing rows and upgrading them. And of course that does result in some walls being higher than others. And I, I, I honestly don't really care. I'm not like obsessive compulsive when it comes to anything like that. So we just throw together some random upgrades, some random walls. And before you know it, we've got all of the builders tied up once again. And that's generally the only thing we have to do over here is try to keep those builders building. And here we go. We come back. All five builders are free again. And generally, as you can see, I, if I can remember, I'll go ahead and do mostly resource buildings first, right? Collectors, because that's the only way we're ever going to get any loot other than things like clan games, CWL medals from being in the roster, and raid weekends. Don't forget raid weekends. That is the most fun that no Clash Clash ever gets to have. Okay. Uh, all builders are tied up. Let's go to clan games like I talked about. And thank you to my good friend Galadon. Because Galadon, he seems to have more gems than he knows what to do with. So while we can't possibly do any of these clan games challenges, we can use Galadon to pop on in and trash a few. So we did. Ah. And Galadon kept on trashing challenges until ah. we had something come up that Galadon could actually let me complete. Ah. It wasn't that, and okay, that's a little bit annoying, the villager's voice, but let's just say that, ah. stop it, okay? We got to the point that we finally got a challenge to pop up. I think it was right uh -huh. there, and we are going to donate spells. Thank goodness, okay, that took way longer, by the way. You only saw like five refreshes. I think I had to refresh 15 or 20 times. So then we promptly pop in, we donate three spells, get two, we get credit for d donating two spells. And there's the third one. Not sure what happened right there, but we have completed the clan games challenge and it looks like Cherie was upset about going to Legend League, but that's that's okay, she'll recover. And there you go, so we got our points. And that means thanks to the very active use code Galadon, we are going to be able to be just fine as far as picking up the rewards. Of course, not sweating the bonus reward, that doesn't matter. And to be honest, these don't even really matter that much anyway because this account never attacks and uh, again like the videos because i can't see any point in continuing this otherwise okay obviously this is common sense yeah trophies went up right because we're slowly but surely upgrading the village getting a little bit stronger on defense the gems i think we spent a few so we're down under 100 gems in today's Whoa. episode and then of course we kept on talking about heroes here we go. We have finally Whoa. grabbed ourselves a Barbarian King. Next goals, of ah. course, Raid Weekends, which I am still loving. I hope you guys are as well. Thank you for loving the video and sticking around all the way to the end. True hashtag Galatham now. Get out there. Make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, and year. Be kind to other people, animals, and the planet. I'll see you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Where's, where's the music? Oh, there it is. Wow. Gallery gone, gallery gone, no clash, clash, no video, video, plays.